Welcome to Relativity. On this channel, I'll be doing movie reviews and recommendations from a real world perspective, done in an immersive way that you hopefully haven't seen before. I also plan on eventually expanding into TV shows and other outlets once the channel begins to grow and I'm able to dedicate myself to it full time. This is the theater room where we'll be doing the reviews. The movie we're going to be reviewing today is Fruitvale Station. So sit back, relax, and let's get into it. Fruitvale Station is a 2013 biographical drama film written and directed by Ryan Coogler. It was Coogler's first full-length feature film as he would go on to direct the seventh Rocky film, the Creed series, and the Marvel film Black Panther, which broke box office records. The film stars Michael B. Jordan, Melanie Diaz, and Octavia Spencer. It is based on the events leading to the death of 22-year-old Oscar Grant III in 2009 at the hands of Bart Police Officer Johannes Marsley. Grant, played by Jordan, is trying to get back on the right path. He's made some mistakes and bad choices, as we all have, especially as someone in their early 20s. But you can tell that his heart is in the right place, and he's trying to dedicate himself to being the man his daughter, Tatiana, and her mother needs. But of course, there's always going to be temptation to go backwards, especially when you're trying to move forward. Plus, it seems like that's when doors that you want to be open for you keep slamming in your face. Can't look for a handout, though. And if your actions played a part in your current situation, you can't blame anybody for not bending over backwards to help you, even if you deserve a second chance. No one owes you anything. And Oscar is seeing how difficult it can be to get things turned around. And with his criminal history... At times, not even the people closest to him give him the benefit of the doubt. His mother, Wanda, played by Octavia Spencer, and his child's mother, Sophina, played by Diaz, lead the charge in this department. But it comes off as them just being concerned about his decision-making and trying to get him to grow up and be a man. It's, it's different when a child's involved, and he needs to start thinking about her above all else. Besides, if he gets sent to prison, who has the extra burden of providing for the child on their own? Sophina, with a little help from her mother and Grandma Wanda. So they're on top of Oscar to make sure he doesn't forget what priority number one should be. And Oscar looks to be taking heed the advice he's being given as he's showing he can be a responsible father and spouse. But he and Sophina need a break. It's New Year's Eve and the adults want to celebrate. So they prepare to go out at the behest of young Tatiana. But Oscar assures his baby they'll be back in the morning before she even wakes up. Little did either of them know what their immediate future will hold. But like I said in the beginning, it's always when you're trying to do right, everything comes up against you to try to derail you, and it can come in the form of anything. In this case, it came in the form of a past Oscar was doing everything to distance himself from. Oscar and his girlfriend were having a good time, a great New Year's time, and trying to be as responsible as possible by taking the train, just in case they wanted to have a drink or two. But none of that mattered. An altercation triggers a chain of events that I believe were predestined to occur anyway. This was a tough film to watch and review. Even though I had seen it before, as a young black man watching events like these unfold are never easy. Doesn't matter if it's the first time or the hundredth time, or if it was 1991 in LA, or in this case, 2009 in Oakland. Not only that, Watching young children lose one or both of their parents 
unnecessarily is heartbreaking. And the moment when you had to explain to the child their new reality has to be one of the toughest conversations a parent will ever have. Also, watching a mother's grief as she outlives her children is another thing that has to be devastating. Now, I know how YouTube is, so I won't get too deep into how I feel about these injustices because I need as many people to see this movie as possible. And a YouTube strike or a video getting removed is counterproductive towards that goal. But please believe there's a lot more that I, will, I definitely would like to say. Michael B. Jordan delivers again. Even though this is earlier in his career, before the Hollywood star status he has achieved currently, but his consistency of bringing life and empathy to his roles is still evident here in 2013. Octavia Spencer, as Oscar's mother, is convincing and sincere and temporarily made me flash back to a time in my own life and how my mother must have been feeling at that time. And lastly, Melanie Diaz is solid as the girl you need in your life, one that wants the best for you. No matter if she's got to tell you things you don't want to hear or make sure you do or don't do things you don't need to be doing. But is a mother above all and is always going to be there to take care of her responsibilities, even if you're not. Or sadly, and unfortunately in this case, if you can't. My movie ratings and best performance award will be showing next. So continue watching until the end. Subscribe and like if you haven't already. And comments are welcome as I'll be looking to improve these reviews over time and possibly even taking requests. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next review.